Hi, I'm Elizabeth Steele presenting today with Regan Sharp from the West Virginia University School of Medicine. And our team looked at evaluating the readability and reliability of online information about medical cannabis and chronic pain. During our research, we found that a majority of people search for health information online. With a recent surge in both popularity and controversy surrounding the use of medical cannabis, it is important that the information found online is reliable and at a reasonable level of health literacy, which is determined to be between a 6th grade and an 8th grade reading level. For this project, our objective was to assess the readability and reliability of information online regarding medical cannabis for chronic pain. An internet search was conducted using Google Bing and Yahoo with the search term medical cannabis for chronic pain. The top 20 websites from each, excluding duplicates, were used, leaving 44 websites for analysis. Multiple researchers analyzed the websites using multiple measures of readability and reliability to include DISCERN, FKG, and FRE. Our results from the DISCERN measure found that 77% of the websites that were evaluated were found to have excellent reliability. The mean FKG score was 14.6, meaning that an average of 14.6 years of education is required to understand the material presented. The mean calculated score of the FRE was 30.76, which equals the reading level of a graduate program student. The results from our studies show that the information online regarding medical cannabis is mostly reliable, except for those advertising and selling medical cannabis products, which hold a strong bias towards promoting its use. However, the study shows that the online information far exceeds the readability and comprehensibility level of the average consumer by nearly eight years of reading education. Future efforts should be made to simplify the language, utilize visual aids, and prioritize unbiased information in order to promote the health and safety of the population. In addition, readers should be wary of the information they are reading online and seek guidance from trained healthcare professionals. Thank you for watching our presentation and please feel free to reach out with any questions.